Hi everyone. Welcome back to Harish BI. This video is about sorting in Power BI. If you are new to my channel, please click the subscribe button and bell icon to get the latest updates. Let's get started. I'm going to show you a uh, different options that we have in Power BI desktop to sort your visuals based on a column or a measure. Okay, let's start with the simple sorting. So I'm going to create a visual. Maybe let's take a table visual. So there I'm showing a total sales by month name. Right, so I'm just taking a month name as well. So this is how uh, we got the results. So we have uh, data for all the months. And if you see these three dots, so this is the place where you can go and sort your uh, whole visual. Right, you can see sort by these two columns, month name and uh, total sales, because we have used only these two columns on this visual. And you have again uh, sort descending and ascending. If I try to choose sort by total sales, and you can see this is sorted from uh, maximum sales to the minimum sales you can still change it to uh, ascending it will start from minimum sales to maximum sales and you can do the same thing for even the dimensions like month name if i click month name so it is sorting uh, as a ascending which means it will start from a to z and then if i click descending it will be starting from uh, z to a this is how the simple sorting works even if you try to do the same uh, thing with visuals let's say i'll go with uh, column chart you can see so this is how the the x axis looks like and this is y axis if you go this three dot you can see sort axis sort axis again based on these two columns either descending or ascending right so the the options that you have for uh, table uh, and visuals will be almost same so there will not be much difference i'll show you what is the difference uh, uh, when we move forward with the different uh, scenarios right now let's go back to the same table visual so now we understood the simple sort but if you see this scenario, the scenario should be like uh, it should start from uh, January to December, right? Or December to January, right? So that's a right sort order uh, when we have this kind of a month name in place, right? But uh, if you try with these options, you will not achieve uh, January to December or December to January, right? Uh, on those cases, we have to use uh, uh, another column. That column will be used to sort this column. Right. If you take a month number, so month number will be like uh, 1 to 12. So starting from January to December. So if you use this column, let me try to sort this uh, this whole visual by month number. And then I will try to uh, do a descending, sorry, ascending. And if you see now, it is sorted in a right way, January to uh, December. Or I can still do a descending. It will be starting from December to January. So this is the way uh, that we need to do, but uh, we don't want to add month number. Since we have added month number that is involved uh, or we have option to use month number to sort uh, this whole visual. But in real time, we may not need to show a month number, right? So we uh, this will not be uh, part of this visual. So when you take out that month number, you can see the sort order has changed. To fix that, you need to use the uh, option called sort by column. If you select month name, on the top you can see under column tools you can see sort by column so you can choose this option and it will list out all the columns that you have on the table so now we are in date table now we have selected month name i want to sort this month name column by month number right but because that is where we have uh, 1 to 12 so once i have done now you can see this visual automatically changed in a right order starting from january to uh, december and I can still see, uh, uh, like you can see, only these two columns are added. There is no month number. So what happens in the back end? Uh, uh, this month name is using month month number to sort uh, since we have selected by sort by column. So that's the reason this whole visual is sorted. And uh, this will be applicable even for any visuals if you change it to visual. So this will be again sorted by uh, the right order, so January to December. Because uh, as I said, like uh, it is using month number in the back end to sort this whole visual. Right? So this is how you can use another column to sort one of your column which is used on the visual. Okay, let's go to the next scenario. Now I have a total sales by brand name. Let me change this into a table visual. And as you can see, I have uh, these two columns added brand name and uh, total sales. I can do the sorting by uh, brand name. So when I select uh, brand name, you can see uh, it is sorted by descending. I can even change it to ascending. So this will work uh, uh, A to Z or Z to A. 
but let's take a scenario where user wants to see uh, this whole brand name in a different uh, sort order maybe start with north wind or and then uh, uh, south south ridge video and so on right so if that is the case uh, we can still use the same uh, the previous approach you can use this column or choose this column and you can go to sort by column and you can choose the column which has the sort order right in general those sort order columns will not be available for this kind of a tables so you have to create those sort orders manually right uh, maybe you can use uh, power query editor to create a, a table with the right sort order then you can use that uh, table to sort this column right let me show you how to do that so i have cr created a table called brand if you see this uh, table uh, i have uh, already created a sort order uh, for all of this value so if i try to sort this i'll show you this is the order right it should be starting with the north wind and then uh, tailspin toys and so on right so this is the order that uh, uh, i want to show you to the business right so for that i have created this table in uh, power query or you can still use uh, this enter data option or maybe you can define this in your excel sheet or any uh, or maybe in the uh, database table itself right you need to make sure these two columns are added uh, brand name and then and the right sort order right so and now you can uh, use this table to join with your uh, main uh, dim product table using brand name and that is one of the option uh, to achieve that uh, you can see this is the model that i have so let's create a relationship between the uh, dim product and the brand uh, table using brand name so i can simply drag and drop and this will create a relationship between these two right so now what i can do i can come here uh, into the data view or uh, maybe in the in this view itself i can select a brand name and this brand name should be sort by sort order right uh, and uh, now i can take this column brand name and uh, i can take this uh, total sales now if you see here so i can go either uh, uh, brand name by uh, sorting and then sort by descending or ascending so let me show you with ascending so now it is in ascending so since we have defined the sort order for north wind as one it is starting with north wind traders right so this is the uh, uh, order that i want to show in this visual so this is again remain same even if you go with the uh, uh, any visuals it is starting with north and uh, north, north wind traders right so but what we have done uh, we have created a new disconnected table and uh, with these two columns and we have connected this table with the main table using brand name and then we have used this brand name in all our visuals right uh, in case if you don't want to use this column uh, for all your visuals what you can do you can take this sort order and you can uh, print it on this table itself so that you can uh, easily uh, sort this brand name by sort order right as of now if you try to choose this uh, column you will not have the uh, column to sort right so for that we need to take uh, this sort order here and then uh, you can use that sort order column to sort this column brand name to achieve that you need to make sure you have a proper relationship created between these two tables so this is uh, like a many side and this is on one side right when you are in many side when we are in dim product we have to use uh, the function called related right when you are in uh, single side you are trying to get the data from many side then you have to use related table right so i am going to use related function to get the sort order column here uh, on the dim product itself to do that i am going to create a, a new calculated column and we can name this as uh, sort and we can use related function so related and related of uh, uh, brand sort order so once i have uh, added this column you can see uh, so the numbers are added here the sort order so this will be based on the relationship that we have created between dim product and br uh, brand table using brand name now we have the sort uh, column added now i can go to the uh, brand name so this is the brand name and i can use this column and uh, go to sort by column you can search for sort column that we have added recently so this is the column once i have added this column and you can go here and you can check so this is the table uh, which is uh, using uh, brand name from uh, sorry not this uh, fact brand name i need to take it from brand name from dim product and if you see here now the results are matching 
so these are the two options one is uh, disconnected table use the column directly on your visuals all the visuals or you can take the sort order to the main table itself and you can use that main table column everywhere so far we good we have covered multiple scenarios let's talk about the next scenario let's say i have a, a, a visual created something like this right uh, now i want to sort this visual uh, based on the uh, maybe sales quantity right in case if i want to sort this by uh, uh, total sales i still have option here but in case if i want to sort this by uh, with another measure so so far we have discussed uh, sort using a uh, different dimension columns right now if we want to sort this whole visual by another measure so when i say measure measure will be dynamic when you have multiple slicers the measure value will be changing right uh, we have to sort this whole visual by uh, another measure maybe uh, 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 quantity right uh, so let's take uh, uh, let's create a new measure called total quantity i just say like quantity then i just want to have uh, sum of uh, quantity right let me see whether i have yeah sales quantity is there okay now i'm going to add uh, this quantity just for you to understand so if you see here this is the quantity column that we have created if i sort this by quantity if you see uh, contoso is coming first and i want to show this order and i don't want to show quantity here on the visual right let me take another copy and let me take out this quantity so when i take out quantity so this will be changing into a brand name like whatever column which we have selected on this uh, sorting right uh, but now we need to get this order because i want to sort this visual by quantity uh, different measure right so for this scenario right in case if you are going with uh, table visual or a matrix visual you cannot uh, sort you cannot sort a uh, 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 visual or a column by another measure when we use this uh, like a table or matrix i am changing this into a chart so if you see here so this is exactly same or uh, like what we had in the table visual i'll just move this out so this is just to check uh, the order so we supposed to get this order contosa should be first right uh, but now we have uh, uh, south ridge video as a first uh, brand to sort this by uh, sales quantity right what you can do you can add this sales quantity uh, into the tool tips so you have tool tips option available for your visual so these are the uh, uh, access uh, i mean these are the information that we have added on the visual x axis is brand name and y axis is total sales and other than this x axis and y axis you have legend small multiples and then tool tips so now i have added quantity so i'll just i'll just take out uh, just to show you what you have uh, first then i will add the quantity again if you see this three dot you can see sort axis it based on these two columns either sort descending or ascending now i'm going to add uh, quantity here on on the uh, tool tip so once i have added uh, quantity you will not see the quantity here right uh, on on your visuals but it will sh it will be available on your uh, tool tip right so here you have brand name total sales and quantity and if you click the three dots you can see sort axis now you have quantity so now i can sort this whole visual by quantity if i click quantity you can see this is starting with contoso so this is the order that we were expecting contoso then uh, south ridge uh, video and so on now we have achieved uh, 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 the sorting for this visual uh, based on another measure which is not included or not visible on the uh, on the visual but this will be visible on tool tip if you are okay you can leave uh, as it is and in case if uh, user don't want to see the quantity even on the tool tip you can go with uh, the new uh, custom tool tip page where you can create a, a new custom uh, tool tip and the same can be added for your visual so with that you can show only the the brand name and then total sales this is how you can easily sort your visuals based on other measures which are not included or not visible on the visuals in case if you want to sort your visual by another measure at which you don't want to display on the visual you need to add it into the uh, visual first on table visual or a matrix visual and then you need to uh, somehow uh, hide or maybe with a different colors or maybe you can change the width of this uh, so that 
uh, end user will be seeing only these two columns but still it will be there as a uh, column added on your visuals when they try to export this column will be exposed so but that that's kind of a work around let's let's focus on what we have on the uh, matrix right i'm going to take uh, uh, different values here maybe let's let me start with the class name into columns and then uh, color name into uh, rows and uh, let's take uh, total sales as a value so this is how matrix uh, visual looks uh, with these two color name and class name with uh, total sales and uh, you don't have a tool tip here and in case if you want to sort you have to go here and uh, sort so here you can see you have sort option available only for col uh, color name and then total sales so which means you cannot sort uh, uh, this whole matrix uh, based on columns in case if you want to sort uh, this column values maybe regular first economy second and dlex uh, third then you have to use uh, sort by column option to sort this so otherwise on a visual you cannot sort this uh, column right again uh, you cannot sort this uh, uh, based on the dynamic measures so which is not available uh, like uh, you have only these two options so either i can sort this whole things by uh, total sales so all will be sorted and uh, i or i can sort this by uh, color name so this is how we can sort in a matrix so in matrix and table visuals uh, sorting based on other measures is uh, it's not possible so maybe we can try this kind of workarounds by adding them and uh, changing the color or uh, uh, minimizing the column with uh, just to show only these two but in the back end it will be still uh, available as additional column please click the like button if you like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues so thanks again